Hi guys, this is the next tutorial. This is the requested back to school, back to work makeup look. Um, for my hair, I've just kind of curled it and put some, taken some of it up and left the rest down and curled it with my curling tongs. So that was quite simple to do. It took maybe 10 minutes once it was heated up. Um, and for the eyes themselves, I just wanted to incorporate a little bit of what spring and summer was all about in terms of eyeshadow, which was, of course, the gorgeous peach colours. Um, I didn't want to kind of stay with the peach, but I wanted to stay with that brightness. And so what I did was I incorporated some pink and some brown. So you kind of have a smoky eye, but you still have that bright pink on the lid as well. So you're kind of keeping the summer going as well. Well, the memories anyway. So let me just bring you up to the camera. I've done this eye. So I've done some pink here um, just on the lid. And then I've brought in kind of a kind of like a greenish brown over the, the lid itself and the thin layer of um, liner. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to start on this eye quite soon. I'll just show you the colours that I used. Um, this was the colour I used on the the pink I was talking about on the lid. It's just right here. This is from the Freudin 2nd edition and their colours are amazing. Really good um, in terms of price and the kind of the staying power of the colour is beautiful. So this one here is what I used on the lid and then I went in with this from my um, outer V. And then I went in with these both again and then did the liner. So kind of this one gives a little bit of an added room kind of, if you can see. So I'll have, we'll have pictures on Kira Explosion of Beauty. So let's get started with the second eye and then I'll go in terms of face and lips and everything else like that. So this is the brush that I'm using. Um, I'm gonna go in with that pink. There is just to the corner of the camera a mirror. So if you see me look away slightly, it's just because there's a, a mirror there. This is what the pink looks like on the brush. If I can bring that into you. And what we're going to do, I've already used, sorry, just before I let you know, I've already used my Rimmel. Um, this is Wake Me Up Foundation, and it's an anti-fatigue effect. It has like a radiant glow effect it gives your skin, and I've then teamed that with my um, Rimmel um, face powder, which I'm kind of running low on at the moment. So I'm going to go back in again with that pink, and I'll just show you that again before we go in. That's what it looks like on the brush. And we're now going to just kind of cover the lid. Okay, so now we've covered the lid just with the first pink that I showed you from Freud and Second Edition. And because this is such a light pink, you could actually get away with bringing this under the, the eye and actually just, just under here to give your kind of eye that added boost, weight, that kind of woke up look. So we're just going to bring that under as well. I've done that to the other eye as well. Okay. And now what we're going to do is go in with our brush that looks like this and we're going to create our outer V with that green color, greenish brown color that I showed you before and this is what it looks like. Okay. I'm just going to get that curl out of the way. So what we're doing here is just making sure that we have an outer V, but that it doesn't go too high up to take away from the whole look. So I'm going to go back in with my colour again. And if it looks harsh, like if I take it away it does look quite harsh now, but once I blend it in it'll look absolutely beautiful. It's always the way when you're starting to try to kind of combine two colours which are completely different in terms of brightness and things like that. It always looks harsh before you actually blend it in. So don't worry about that at all. And again, it doesn't take too much time. So I was very conscious that in this video, we're all about in the morning, trying to get ready, trying to have some time. And not, at the same time, not having a lot of time to do this makeup. So this shouldn't take you too long. Um, so I'm going to get my blender brush now. Um, and we're just going to blend that colour like we did on this side here. Again, if I look away, it's just that there's a mirror here. 
as you can see, it really blends beautifully with the pink. Beautifully. Okay, so that's the two colours done. Now what we're going to do is go in with our Rimmel Exaggerate, which is my pen liner, kind of liquid liner that I always go to. Um, make sure there's not a lot on that, because we don't want it to be too much. A thin layer is perfect. And we're just going to we're just going to bring it a little bit closer, and we are going to do our liner on this eye now. I'm just going to close the eye. a very thin layer of eye of um sorry eyeliner. Now I'm just going to turn this back. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to fix the mirror. Okay. So there's the thin layer of eyesh, um, eyeliner. And what we do then is when that's dried, we go back in with our pink. Liner incorporating the second pink that I showed you as well. And we're just going to dot that nicely on top before we do our mascara. So really you can see the, how it makes the, the lower lid pop. You can see there how it really brings it together. And then when I put the mascara on, it really just opens up your eyes. And I'll just top this one up because obviously this one has been done before. So let's just top that up. Okay, just so they look even. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my Maybelline, and this is Bright Lash Mascara, and this is Black is Black. Again, you can get different colours, but I, I really like the black in this one, and I like also what I really like about this is the applicator. So let's get that in, kind of take the curls out of the way. And it's really worth taking the time to kind of separate the lashes. Um, I didn't incorporate false lashes into this look because I know a lot of the times it's not possible in work to wear false lashes depending on what you do. And especially in schools where the rules tend to change on what you can wear and what you can't wear. So in terms of things like that. So you could obviously incorporate some false lashes. That would be beautiful. But if you can't, just spend the time to do the mascara so everything looks kind of it really just gives you that finishing touch to your eyes. I'll go into the inner corners as well. And then spend some time gently doing the bottom lashes as well. Okay, not too much detail on the bottom, just enough so that they're very kind of noticeable, but not too much. So once that's done, your eyes are pretty much set. Um, obviously this one looks a lot fresher now, obviously because I started off with that one just to show you guys the initial um, look. So now what we're going to do, I will top it up for the photos so that when you see it on Kira Explosion of Beauty, my, my blog, that you will see the, the two of them look even. But it's a really, really nice um, eye look to do for work and school because it's appropriate. It's kind of not over the top, but it's still kind of makes you look awake and fresh, which is what you want to go for. 
Um, I've just worn kind of like a white top as well. You could do some statement jewellery um, and some black pants. So it's a very kind of work and school look as well. Obviously, if you wear a uniform, that's not possible if you're in school. Um, if you're in college, obviously, that's a different thing. You can wear what you, what you prefer. Um, so yeah, you could obviously wear some statement jewellery, I've just got some diamond stud earrings in, you could wear some other earrings if you like. I've curled my hair obviously with my um, curler, um, and I've tied a little bit of it up, but the rest is all down and curled. So it kind of gives it a fresh look. What we're going to do now is because um, we've done our eyeshadow now and the mascara, I want to just go over my face again with the powder. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to start working on our contouring and our highlighting. And also then lastly the blush and the lips. So what we want to do is make sure that everything is covered with the powder so it kind of takes out the colour from the face and then allows you to go back and put the colour back in where you want it. So this gives you a chance to contour and it also gives you a chance to kind of shape your face, which is what we want to do. So let's do that now. Okay, first thing that I'm going to do is contour. And what I do is I make a face when I contour, I'll show you in a minute, um, but um, then it gives me a better kind of angle to um, place my powder. So what I'm going to use is, I'm just going to show you guys, it's from MAC, let me just see if I can show you. Here, the first thing I want to use is from Rimmel, and this is the Shimmer um, shimmer Matte, so it's half shimmer, half matte. As get, again, it's perfect for contouring. Um, and what I, I do is, to apply it, I use one of these brushes. And then to blend it, I use a, a blush brush, but watch, I'll show you. This way, you really get where you're looking to get. So that's what it looks like on the brush. I'm now going to do the face that I told you about. I'm going to do that one more time and then I'm going to blend it. You can already see how it's defined. So what I'm going to do now is go in with my bigger brush and we're now going to blend that. And it really defines the face and the cheekbones. It also uh, can actually give you cheekbones if you don't even have them. Perfect for um, that kind of look, if that's what you're going for. So I'm going to do the same on this side. That's a good little trick to have, actually. Use a brush this big. Go in with your um, contouring powder. Really place it where you need to place it and then blend afterwards. Perfect, because it really lines your face, it gives you the structure that you're looking for. So I'm going to go back in, again, on the other side, and we're again going to make that face. And we're going to blend again with this brush here, which is just a blush brush. And again, it kind of has given me the same kind of spelt look on both sides, which is perfect. Now what I want to do is just lastly go in with my blush and the, my favourite blush that I've been using this summer, but I'm going to continue to use as we go back to school and work is from Rimmel London and it's Lasting Finish and they come in different colours. This is a really, really pretty colour and I'll just open it for you. It is called Soft Pink Rose and it's 020 is the number if you're looking for it. Very pretty. Perfect. So what I do when I do my blush is I just make a smiley face and I do the apples of the cheeks.
Okay, so that's the perfect amount of blush and not a lot comes out. It's kind of, it's nice because sometimes when you get powder blushes, a lot of product comes out on the brush and then you might have overdone it when you didn't need to, but this is perfect for that. So there is the blush and the contour done. And now what I'm going to do is just the lips. Now you could just use gloss or a natural colour. What I'm going to use, I'm just going to show you now. This is from Avon and it is Colour Trend. And it kind of incorporates the pink that I put into my eye. Um, excuse me guys. So what I'm going to do is just show you the colour. And it is designed for cheeks and lips, but I'm going to use it on my lips today for this tutorial. So we're going to just apply it. And it just gives you a colour, but not being over the top. You could put gloss over this too and it would be beautiful. So I'm just going to look in the mirror just for a second. Okay. And you can see it really just brightens up the lips and just looks fresh so that would be my look um, I've curled, chose to curl, curl my hair for this look um, if you've straight hair that's fine or if you don't like to curl your hair um, just kind of gives it a nice look um, and that would be my requested back to school back to work um, makeup um, look so again, very kind of neutral on the eyes, but then I've come in with a brown over over the lid. I've then done my liner quite lightly, and then done the mascara. Um, my foundation was Rimmel Lasting Finish, and then I came in with the contouring and the blush, and then the natural lips, just a pink on the lips. Pink is very, very popular at the moment. I think it's going to be popular going back into the, going forward into September. I know the summer pink was, pink and yellows um, were very pastel colors. They were very, very um, popular. And I think we should be bringing those back into the, or into the, into the um, autumn winter. So thank you for requesting the video. It was a good video to do, and I will see you in the next tutorial.